What's up everyone? This is Scott with Team 512 and I'm back with another video. We're just one day away from the Corvette meetup at Jimmy's American Grill in Bordentown, New Jersey. That's right, it's tomorrow. The Yellow Vet 04 and Team 512 Corvette meetup. And I have a lot of work I have to get done to my C5. Now, if you're in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, whatever area, tomorrow and you have a Corvette, come on out to Jimmy's American Grill in Bordentown. From 12 to 4, we're going to have our first ever meetup. Now, so far we have about 30 Corvettes confirmed, another 40 maybes, and then there's an X factor of you guys who haven't responded at all, but are planning to show up. So we're considering, uh, this is a pretty big success already, especially if we can get somewhere around 40 cars. Now Jimmy's knows we're coming, they're excited we're going to be there, they have an area of the parking lot uh, just for us to park in and uh, an area at the bar, in the bar area for us to hang out and talk shop. So real quick though, I want to ask all of you that are planning on coming with your cars to please be respectful of Jimmy's property, other patrons, and of course their staff. This is the first time we're doing it there and uh, we're thinking maybe we want to make this a, uh, an event, a reoccurring event, and um, we want to be asked back. So uh, please be respectful. No crazy smoky burnouts until you're way, way, way away from the restaurant. So I hope to see you guys uh, there tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, let's start working on the C5. So the first thing I did was clean the interior. This is probably my least favorite job to do uh, on cleaning the car. That is just uh, water drying up. I don't like to use too many products on the inside. I don't like that shiny, greasy look to the interior. I prefer uh, more of a matte finish. I'll show you the trunk. I spent some time vacuuming back here. That's about the cleanest this trunk area has been since I bought the car. Uh, I don't know how to get those lines in there, so maybe I'll talk to Rick from Shine Lab tomorrow. He's supposed to be at the uh, meetup and ask him how he gets those cool lines when he's vacuuming. He does a great job, guys. If you don't follow Rick on Instagram and on YouTube here, you really should. He's got some great tips for detailing. Again, I just wiped the seats down with a damp cloth, so they're still a little wet. And you can see the interior, you know, is not too shiny. Again, I, I, I really don't like that super shiny look. Uh, the door panels are a little shiny. I wiped those down with some product. But other than that, that's as good as the interior is going to get. And we'll close this. And the next thing on the list to do is take care of this engine bay. So I'm gonna give this a thorough washing and detailing. It doesn't look too bad right now, but there are some areas that uh, you might be able to see that could use a little attention. And look, more blue overspray. You guys, I'll be digging out blue overspray on this car for a very, very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the alternator and any other vital electronic components, and then we'll get to detailing.
right, now it's time to get this exterior clean. Sun's coming up, but it's shaded by this tree right here. So if I get on it real quick, we can get this washed, get it in the garage. Then I can take these wheels off, bring them outside and clean them separately. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna criticize me for not using the two bucket method when washing this car. Even though I did a lot of work to this paint, compounding and polishing it out, it's still 20 year old paint. And I plan to do a repaint at some point here within the next year. And um, I'm not overly concerned about the paint. You shouldn't be overly concerned about the paint. But thank you if you are, I really appreciate it. So the interior of the car is now clean, the exterior is clean, I'll wipe it down with some spray detailer in the morning, and I finished up detailing under the hood, and it looks real nice. Next step is to get all four of these wheels off and try to clean these barrels up a little bit. Let's get started. Three more to go, and we'll get started cleaning. And I decided to use the uh, TLC version of uh, wheel cleaner called No Scrubs, and we'll see how this does. All right, wheels and tires are done. Are they perfect? No. Are they cleaner? Yes, definitely. And they weren't perfect to begin with, but they definitely do look much better. Now these were the original wheels and tires that came with the car when I bought it last year. I plan to upgrade. Would love to get a set of Forge Star F14s. So if you're watching this and you have a set for sale, Hit me up. All right, well that does it. The car is clean and ready to go for the meetup tomorrow. Now I can honestly say I've never had the C5 this clean ever. I mean, check this thing out. Can you guys see this? I mean, that paint just looks awesome. The wheels are clean. You probably can't see it, but I cleaned the wheel wells, uh, but there's some overspray, more blue. I even cleaned the windows. I hate cleaning windows. And the engine bay came out really, really nice. And there's the front wheel, looks good. So we are set. So remember, tomorrow, 12 to 4, Jimmy's American Grill in Bordentown, New Jersey. Even if you don't have a Corvette, but you just love Corvettes, come out, have a beer, have something to eat, and uh, have a great time. So for all of you that are coming tomorrow, I will see you soon.